everybody. Hi, Sergio. How are you doing today? Hi, Beth. Good to see you as usual. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to do these videos with you every Wednesday at 10 o'clock. We've been doing this for what, like two months now? I think so. I think so. Pretty much like after the whole uh, lockdown began and then it's just been week after week and I've been really enjoying the episodes. Me too. And today's topic is something that I've been really thinking a lot about because I know a lot of us are in this lockdown or we're coming out of lockdown and uh, we've had an incredible experience. Um, everybody mm -hmm. has. And what I've been hearing from my community is that they're losing their their desire to be creative or they're finding it harder to be creative. And, you know, I just moved and I'm experiencing so many new changes now. Like I have to be very intentional about how I stay creative. And so today's topic is how to use curiosity to find your joy. I love that topic. I think that's pretty cool because, uh, you know, that sense of curiosity, I think and how we can awaken that, I think is great. I think as, as a kid, you know, we are, very, very curious about how the world works, but it seems like as we grow up, we kind of let some of that go. So I'm really looking forward to chat with you about, you know, your ideas that you have to kind of re, rebirth that again uh, in us, uh, this great, uh, curiosity for the world. I know curiosity to me is such a powerful, um, emotion it's a uh, action it's it's so many things i think that we feel and we mm -hmm. can take action on but a lot of times our fear stops us before we actually can put that curiosity into play and so mm -hmm. one thing that i've been doing lately is taking a lot of photos um, mm -hmm. i'm in a new place i've been using photography as my medium mainly during the lockdown and so mm -hmm. what i've noticed is that i'm watching the light I'm looking at everything. I'm noticing everything. My eye is just constantly scanning, looking for the shot, looking for the shot. And I notice that how good that makes me feel just in general, because what it's doing is it's bringing me to the present moment. Mm. And I think that where our most curious is when we're the most connected. And when we're in the present moment, we are truly connected to the powerful now. Mm. And the way that I do that is I, ask myself, what am I hearing? What am I seeing? What am I tasting? What does it feel like? What is my intuition and sixth sense telling me? Mm -hmm. And I think through the process of creating photography, I'm also in the process of getting connected to the present moment. Mm -hmm. You know, that is pretty cool because uh, now that you're mentioning, as you were talking about it, I'm starting to think about it and remember the pose that you have been doing, uh, even when you were still in Nashville, in your like behind your your house or the trail that was like a, a nice beautiful lake and uh, then you started you know also taking pictures of uh, uh, like things in front of the sun but also you could see the lake and reflections and what mm -hmm. and I remember very really clearly because uh, it uh, caught my attention on my feet and like oh that is very nice and then again oh that is pretty cool and then I actually ask you you know is this close to your house you know so your sense of curiosity I think also, and because you're sharing it with the world, uh, you are inviting us over also to uh, participate with you and, and in these encounters of nature, you know, which is pretty exciting, pretty cool. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that because that's the whole purpose of me going out and shooting out in nature because I know a lot of people don't have access to that right now. And if I can, right. you know, help bring them into my world a little bit and see what I see out in the world, then um, it should help give them that <laughs> that yeah, feeling I, of being in nature without actually being in it. Because I was wondering if those were like old pictures or they were recent. You're like, no, I'm taking this like, and like, oh, wow, yeah. that's amazing. So it actually, uh, my curiosity to keep looking, you know, kind of grew out of that and continue. And then as you move to uh, Texas, also seeing how that has changed uh, and the scenery that you're presenting, you know, it just, it just kind of keeps me curious about your curiosity in a way. One thing that I noticed is, Sometimes when we're curious, we're, we'll take a small step, but then if it asks us to go even further, sometimes fear will set in and, and we, we stop before it's too soon. And yesterday I was out kayaking and I was approaching an area that of the river that I had never been before, that I wasn't sure if I should go, but I just decided to go for it because I was cool. curious and I wanted yeah. to see more of what was beyond what I could see. And there's this great quote and I love it. It says, Go as far as you can see, because when you get there, you'll be able to see further. And I think that oh, that, that cool. can um, uh, apply to our curiosity as well. 
stay curious and go as far as your curiosity will bring you because when you get there, mm -hmm. you will be able to see something new. Right. And I think that could also be applied even, I mean, for you it has been such a, uh, a journey of, uh, you know, being in close proximity to nature and inviting us through it. But even for those of our friends who may be stuck at home in an apartment building in downtown New York or Chicago or LA, I think also awakening that um, curiosity in different ways, even, you know, and finding a way of finding that, what they may be uh, prompt to discover or to try something that they haven't done before. Like yesterday I started, I did a brand new uh, recipe that I had never done before. And it actually was a disaster. It, it didn't work out. It was like really bad. But at least, you know, I was happy I, I tried something new. I was curious about the flavor and too bad it didn't work. But <laughs> That's what it's all about. You know, trial yeah. and error, figuring it out. And, um, and it, keep, it continues to guide you. So when you're curious and you have a pleasurable experience, great, go mm -hmm. further. If you're curious and you don't have a pleasurable experience, <laughs> like your, your food that didn't work out, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's going to keep inviting you to go into another direction. And totally. the one thing that I love about when we are curious is that we start to have new ideas. And I think mm -hmm. that this is a time to celebrate all of our ideas. Mm -hmm. That It's not a time to say, no, that's not good enough, or I'm not ready, or I'm not an expert yet. Mm -hmm. I think celebrating every single one of our ideas right now should be something that we do because if we keep putting ourselves down, then we're never going to continue to reach out further than where we are. And this is a place of rebirth. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like for so many people, we've given an opportunity to say, how do we want to live? How do we want to, you know, approach life after this, this big, huge change for our world has occurred. Yeah. And this invites us to be curious about everything that we do in the future. And I think when we can celebrate that, then we're going to, you know, meet the next phase of our life with a different energy, with more joy and more openness. And I think that's how we can continue to create a life that we truly love. So curiosity yeah. is more than just creativity. It's more than just making art. It's a way of life. And mm -hmm. that's the way I choose to live because I want to be open and I want to notice everything and wonder about everything because to right. me, that's where new ideas come in. And that's sort of like, <laughs> gives me the, my spirit, like it helps my spirit come alive when right. I'm feeling like I'm exploring something brand new. Absolutely. I love that. And, you know, it's funny how like we began these conversations, which in a week was kind of a curiosity on both of us. Like, what are we doing? We do something together and we have been talking about it and how do we do it through video? And, uh, you know, that was kind of bir birthed out of that curiosity of why don't we work together and do something? And then mm -hmm. the interestingly kind of happened and started at the beginning of the pandemic when we were way on the other side and now how, you know, as we connect every week and do these episodes kind of like slowly, we are moving and working toward this and eventually we'll be on the other side. And in a way kind of we're documenting that process, but uh, um, you know, your ideas have really made me more curious about the things that we are chatting out here in the episodes for sure. And I hope well, that our friends too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've loved this process because the topics that we're choosing are things that we're actually going through right now. Exactly. Um, and I feel like that brings a, a present moment to just the video topics because we knew we had to speak about what was currently going on in our lives and in the lives of the community that we lead. And mm -hmm. uh, I yeah. think that when we bring that honesty and that transparency to what we're experiencing with the pandemic, uh, it's just going to help us connect with more people. And, and that really is the, the main goal here. And so mm -hmm. you guys, if you have um, different ways that you like to get curious or different ways that you find that your creativity flourishes, let us know, leave a comment below. We would love to have a conversation with you about this. And um, I just invite you to be curious and to celebrate exactly where you are right now, whether you're making art or you're thinking about making art or, or you haven't made anything in a while, take that judgment off of you and just mm -hmm. lean into right. curiosity and see what can come of it. Excellent. I love that. Uh, ben, thank you so much for sharing your experience, for taking us in that journey and, uh, you know, for making this uh, an open conversation where I'm learning from you as well. And uh, now I can wait to be more creative <laughs> as well myself and more curious, you know, by trying to learn new things. I, I think sometimes technology, just as good as could be, could also be uh, the opposite. You know, it can keep us so entertained that our curious mind you know, it kind of uh, takes a second, a second turn. 
Yeah. So that's a challenge. Go yeah. be curious, see what yeah. something new you can see, even if it's within the walls of where you live. Right. There's always a different perspective that we can view things from. And so find it and it will give you new information that will be very helpful. So exactly. Sergio, um, tell our friends how they can follow you along. So my friend, you can find me on Instagram at Sergio Gomez Art. That's probably the best and easiest way to find me. Oh, and if you want to see my website, SergioGomezOnline.com. That's great. And you guys, if you want to check out the photos I'm talking about that I've been taking during the pandemic, please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Beth English. That's B-E-T-H-I-N-G-L-I-S-H. And I can't wait to see you next week for another great video. Excellent. Bye, Beth. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks.